So I think that uh, the therapy of CML uh, is facing a turn point, I would say, in our days, uh, because uh, the introduction of the TKI therapy, mainly with, uh, of course, the introduction of imatinib, the major player, uh, has represented a big revolution in 15 years ago and uh, really uh, moving the overall survival of uh, the patients was quite poor, was uh, to an overall survival which is comparable to that of a control population without leukemia. Uh, now, uh, what we have seen in the past uh, years, that it is also possible that some patient uh, can achieve a status that we can call operational cure, uh, in which they can also discontinue the therapy and we are not observing a recurrence uh, of the disease. For the moment, the number of these patients is uh, still quite limited, mainly because in some of the patients who have the potential to discontinue the therapy, we continue the therapy. But now a number of uh, trials have been performed, suggesting that this is feasible and possible and uh, along with the matem therapy is achievable in approximately 10-15% of the patients. What is, has been presented uh, with uh, great uh, emphasis, I would say, and attention during this uh, uh, Congress in Copenhagen has been uh, that uh, the fact that if we are using a stronger TK inhibitor, like uh, nalotinib 300 mg twice a day, uh, we can probably increase uh, the percentage of the patients uh, who can reach the operational cure. And uh, this is uh, because of this study, uh, which is called uh, Nest Freedom, in which uh, patients were first line treated uh, with uh, nalotinib 300 mg twice a day, uh, where after achievement uh, uh, a minimum of treatment of two years and the achievement of a very deep molecular response were uh, entered at the consolidation phase of uh, one year and then they were allowed to try to stop the therapy. And uh, those patients who had to reinitiate the therapy are less than half of the patients who stop the therapy. It means that more than half of the patients are still in what we call the operational cure. And uh, this is a great result because uh, it tells us that it is possible to achieve an operational cure uh, with a stronger TK inhibitor like nilotinib in a rather short period of time with respect to what we have seen in the past with imatinib and also with a shorter period of permanence in the so-called deep molecular response like MR4.5. And therefore this will open several other studies just uh, to try uh, to, uh, I would say, reach this, uh, which is uh, and to extend the percentage of the patients uh, who will allow to enter the uh, treatment free remission. Or I prefer to call it operational cure because it's more attractive, I would say, the word cure with respect of uh, remission. And uh, I'm sure that this will be a matter of uh, further investigation uh, in the next few years uh, in order just uh, to transform a disease that previously, until a few years ago, was fatal, not only in a disease which is no more fatal, but also really in a cure the disease.